Welcome back to Man of Cross New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. Shall we see what's going on on our island of Fawn Hollow today? Pretty, pretty sure I know my our visitor is Leif for today. I think I spotted him in the title screen. You of course didn't see him because um, I let the title screen reset as I was <laughs> setting up, I suppose. I do like to start a thing with a very relaxing um, theme of Animal Crossing playing in the background. I feel like it gives a feels like an emptiness because the title screen is very empty without any music, um, I, will, I will say. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 5.13pm on Thursday, November 12th, 2020. Excuse me. Anyone catch yesterday's cooking show? Spiced baked squash. Nope. Don't know what that is. Well, I know what a squash is. And spice and baked. I mean, like, I've never seen that combination together. Very relevant. I don't know. I don't really watch cooking shows anyway, so it doesn't really matter. My, my taste buds are bland, I suppose. But anyway, something from Lily. Dear, I've been thinking we could take our friendship to the next level if, you ha if we had a shared interest. You know how I have a weak spot for handicrafts? This gift is my best attempt at converting my craft happy ways. Covered in glue, Lily. Aww. What did she give us? A sewing machine. Oh. That's very hands on. Um, I'm not a particularly good seamstress. <laughs> I used to be able to know how to knit and I know how to do basic stitches, but apart from that, not many. Much else. I don't know why I'm talking to you, Leif, because I don't actually need anything you got, but I might as well just, you know, look. Not, nope, I don't need any of this, but thank you anyway. So, I guess we'll run around uh, collecting mushrooms, as usual. Having a chat with villagers. Oh, when's the last time we spoke to Rowan? What's up? Like with shirt, Dab. I'm going to go do a few hundred laps around the island. I mean, we could come along and do that as well because our villager does not seem to get tired which is um, a far cry for me I'm a terrible long distance runner always have been like okay apparently we're starting anecdotes very early on um back in secondary school we had this thing called the time trial where oh there's two mushrooms here just sneak behind you already it was basically I, I don't know how long a run it was it was pretty long though it was like twice around this massive field and um yeah well we, basically at the start of every school year we have an autumn term which lasts from about september to just before christmas break and oh yeah there's a new ramp doesn't it look nice i suppose we should build the other ramp in when we get the opportunity to and um yeah uh we, we always do that on like the first pe lesson pe lesson for um that term and then we do it on the last one as well just to see how much you improved which i'm not sure how much you really improve by in that situation because it's not like we did a lot of long distance running practice nor did we improve all that much but still we did it and i was terrible i think i came last like almost every single year <laughs> last or second year so i was definitely in the bottom five or so because i have apparently terrible stamina for whatever reason i don't know probably because i'm i live a very also i said it not sedimentary. Hold on. Um, set, set. I, I can't think of this word. Set, set. What is it? it? It's like when you sit down a lot and you don't move. Sed sedimentary? Sedimentary. That's not quite right. Sedentary. Yeah. Sedentary. There we go. <laughs> I could not think of a word or how to pronounce it. Um, have we made an indent over here for... The ramp. We have made an indent over here. Okay, well, we'll go build that ramp. Why don't we? And... What was I saying? Yeah. I can't remember. I think it took me like 15 minutes, which was incredibly so. Or maybe it wasn't... Maybe it wasn't 15 minutes? Maybe it was longer. I felt like it took the entire lesson, so why do I feel like it was incredibly long? Hmm. See, I, I, I have no concept of how long it takes to run long distances because I was not a long distance or a long distance person. I was very much a sprinter. I was a pretty good sprinter. Terrible long distance runner. So we had to do that every time, every single time. I absolutely dreaded it. There was one year though, I, I got to skip it because I had like a violin lesson or something <laughs> at the same time, I can't remember. And I was over the moon that I didn't have to do a freaking time trial that year. Just anything to do with running and stamina. It's um not my forte. Shall we say? Don't really see many mushrooms. Oh, hello. 
I feel like it took me like 15 minutes. But what? It should have taken the entire lesson, so maybe it didn't. Maybe it was longer, maybe it's like half an hour or something. <laughs> Metal can, hold on. I see. How long take run one kilometer? Six, 615. So two kilometers would be about 11 to 12 minutes for an average person. So it's probably like two kilometers, is my guess, is my run. It was that run, and I took like. Well, 15 minutes doesn't seem that much though, so maybe I took like 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I was Whatever it was, it was terrible. And I remember in year seven, we we had a cross country race. Oh my god. And suddenly, like a thousand more memories just popped into my head. Um, I don't know why I walked in here, to be honest. Do I even have anything to sell? I mean, I got some stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a. Everyone ran in a cross country race um, for like um, a house competition. You know, if you don't know what house competition is, just like think like Hogwarts, like those houses. You're trying to earn points or whatever. And of course, you get points for participating. So it was like entire class participated. And I came like fifth last, I think, in the entire year. <laughs> beating, narrowly beating out. Whoa, that was so in sync. Narrowly beating out like some of the people who had asthma or something. <laughs> I, I I don't know why I'm so terrible at long distance running, but there we go. So that, that was a terrible situation and we had to do that every single year. And it was atrocious. I hated it. Surprisingly, I don't hate athletics. Uh, mountain song, I think we've got this one. Seems like we do. I actually really love athletics, I just hate long distance because I was bad at it. Anyway, the thing is, um, for some reason I was in a cross country club, club back in primary school, not in secondary school, obviously. Um, let's take these rusted parts. That would just be a terrible idea. Oh, oh no! I forgot to get the bridge kit. That's okay. We'll run, run and put stuff in storage and then we'll go get the a bridge kit, not bridge kit, a ramp kit. Yeah, um, I was in cross country club back in primary school, I remember. <laughs> it's an absolutely terrible situation. Because I was also very bad. Um, I feel like I only remember running like two big races in um, primary school. One of them was a fun run, which was like a charity thing, which entire year or something did. I can't really remember. It was something like that. I think our entire year did it. And I ran it and I came like fifth last or something, and <laughs> who knows. That one we had to do in costume, I remember. A lot of people, I, I don't even remember what people, what costumes people had, but I didn't have a costume. And apparently I left it really short notice or whatever, so, but what I did have was I had like a, so, I had like a football kit or something, for like someone from Aston Villa, I think, who I didn't even realise. I knew nothing about football at the time, so I, I had no idea. Um, we'll take out 100,000 to make a ramp and then so I just dressed up in that and <laughs> ran as a football player quote quote <laughs> it was a rather strange situation um but probably better, probably better like that because it was actually just running an, an athletics kit or something oh sure let's hold a ceremony why not I sure am you know I'd love nothing more so yeah ran back um ran back it was a fun run, I don't know. It was interesting, I suppose. I wonder what happens if you try and hold one of these ceremonies so there's literally no space for people to stand on around. Isn't it also weird how in these ceremonies everyone's facing forward? Um, we're amazing. Rather than, you know, like, gathered in a circle, looking for... I know it's obviously so we can see what's going on, but if you think about the, think about it in context, it's a bit weird. Hooray! Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the other one we did was um one which was actually because of a part of a cross country club. I think it was like a school competition or whatever. I remember. I also came like a bottom ten or that or something. <laughs> I was very, very, I was very slow. Long running, I just got out of breath incredibly easily. But I still like track and field. Just, um, not anything above 400 metres, please. <laughs> I was a pretty good sprinter. Like, I ran, um, what are we doing? Let's talk infrastructure. 
I did a lot of um, the house competitions and I did um, a sprint sometimes. Like, like I ran for a relay race in one of the years. I could have done it for more years, but I guess the association was um, I wasn't particularly sporty because I wasn't particularly sporty. I was just randomly fast at sprinting. <laughs> and I was also very good at throwing and I was okay at jumping. So I guess that's kind of why I liked athletics. But I don't know, I didn't, I didn't actually do the sports, year, sports day. Past that day. I'm trying to think back in... Back to like cross-country cross, cross stuff. We must have done more cross-country. I remember what we did, um... You know what I remember? In the cross-country club, there was... What we were meant to do is like we run around our primary school basically. A couple of times. <laughs> As it's like you warm up and then the entire club is just spent running around the school. <laughs> Which is, I know, a good way to get kids fit, I suppose. I remember one of the times. Um, because obviously we didn't have too many adults running that club, because I don't know why you would need to. Sorry, I had a coughing fit there. <laughs> um, so we're, we're, we, ju we just ran around them and... There was a teacher standing up, um, uh, that was starting or finishing line, just like counting your laps or whatever. Or you count yourself, I don't really remember. They weren't paying much attention, but then I remember, um, one of the times, because it was like a, a whole school thing, like all the years were there. Um, there was just two of the kids in, I can't remember what year I was in, maybe year four or something, they were in year six, I think. Or maybe year three, year six, what doesn't matter. Instead of running, they just like sat down in reception. Not reception as in um like a, the entrance hall to the school, but reception as in the year group. Which is um year zero. Ages pff, four to five. I guess they call it a kindergarten. The kindergarten playground. Because uh, the route we took um took us through there. And we just sat there. Sat there on the bench. <laughs> they did get caught though, and they were made to do extra laps or something, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I just remember watching them, being like, damn, I wish I could do that, but you know, I was like, no, that's wrong. What's the point of <laughs> joining a club if I'm just going to sit here and not do anything, you know? But those endurance things, always terrible. I remember my dad was telling me, like, um, before we did that big um, cross-country race back in primary school, the one that was, like, between different schools, he was like, um... Because my dad much more sporty than I am, obviously. Um, he was like, you could like tie sandbags to your legs and then <laughs> have that for a day. And then when you actually start trying to run on the day, you take the sandbags off and you're like, whoa, look how light my feet are. Look how light I feel. Just like, um, what's that guy from Naruto? I don't know. I've not seen Naruto. I just, I just know of that scene. <laughs> you take a weight off your shins, I guess. <laughs> Literally stop sandbagging. And I was like, what? Why? <laughs> not gonna do that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't like the feeling of being out of breath. I'm not sure many people do, to be honest. I'm not sure if that's a particularly desirable feeling. Yeah, not good at cross country, not good at long distance. Oh I just remembered nothing. Uh, <laughs> um oh what year was it? Year eight or something. We had a, a trip. We basically um it was basically one major trip which we did that year for that year group and each um person there was like 10 major trips you could do like you could go to like the lake district or was it the peak district i can't remember or you could go to like the isle of Wight. you could i think some people went to morocco or something to do a hiking thing we went to like um basically like a nature trail sort of a, a long like hiking trail a multi-day hiking trail in um england I think some people also went to Austria, I can't remember, but I didn't do that one. I was like, I'm going to do this one because that sounds like fun, because there was a lot of, it's sort of like a, I like, I, like, I like nature, but I didn't want to do the other hiking trick because I was like, I'm not that experienced with hiking, obviously. <laughs> and this one had, this one was like a combination of being a hiking trail and you got to do like activities like capture the flag and stuff and, you know, all those like fun wooden, like low ropes sort of adventure park sort of like activities at the same time so I was like I'll do this one and it always had the benefit of being the cheapest trip. Anyway we did that and um, they divided the groups into four and they were going to do it on athletic ability because you know that makes sense. They, 
if you want all the athletic people in one group so they can cover a lot of distance on, in one day, they can take harsher, longer walks and, you know, it matches up, so that was all good. <laughs> and the thing we had to do is we had to do basically a mini um, time trial. Oh, what do you think about Savannah? I was thinking about something. You know how my catchphrase is, um, that's my thing, but I'm worried I'm wearing it out. It's time for me to come up with something new, isn't it? Let's change it. Uh, why don't we continue with uh, unsureness? With, uh... If that's okay. Oh, I don't think that will fit. Oh, I can't type. Um, what's the apostrophe? If that's... Oh. Oh! No, don't give up now. Don't worry, you don't need to overthink this. Go on, try again. I don't mean to back out completely. I, was just, I, I just wanted to take out the ellipses. Yeah, we had to do um, a mini time trial. <laughs> a mini time trial um, to determine how like physically fit I guess we were. Can we fit the entire thing in? Nope. If that's okay. If that's okay, did I get it right? You got it. If that's okay. If that's okay. Yep, it's a natural fit for me. Thank you so much. I'll start using this new catchphrase from here on out, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we had to do like a time trial to um determine how good we were. And I came last. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Narrowly oh no, maybe I came no, yeah, I came last, narrowly beating up narrowly losing to my friend who was um had like a chest infection going on. <laughs> which is not something to be proud of. And then we did a beat test afterwards. If you don't know what a beep test is, it's probably the worst thing I've ever had to do. And I think I've only ever had to do it once, luckily. It's an endurance test, so basically, they put like, um... There's like two lines, I don't, I don't know how far apart they are, maybe like 50 metres or something. And there's a consistent beep, which would be like the beep test will start in... Whatever. 3, 2, 1, and it goes beep. And then you have a certain amount of time to run, run and make it to the other line before the other beep goes off. And you had to do that back and forth over and over and over and over and over again with the beeps getting um, faster and faster every single time. <laughs> and I got eliminated, second last in that one, beating up my friend with a chest infection that time. So, <laughs> As you can tell, I am not very physically fit, endurance-wise. <laughs> Actually, now I think about it, I'm not sure why I didn't run more sprinting events in sports day. Not that I wasn't like the fastest in my class or anything, but I was definitely probably in the top 10 or so. Top 8, probably. So I definitely should have been on the B relay team more. I don't know actually why I didn't. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> every time like registrations came open for Sports Day and people are registering, I'm like, nah, I don't really want to do that. And I'm like, you know, fair enough. <laughs> you know, that sounds like a lot of effort. I'd rather be on the sidelines cheering. <laughs> Anyway, what was my point? Yeah, um, we had to do the beat test, and the beat test is a horrible, horrible situation. And I've heard a lot of stories of people in, I think especially in America, that they had to do it quite often. Gym, gym class, as you call it. Which, <laughs> I, I feel sympathy for you. <laughs> Unless you're a good endurance runner, that sounds grueling. <laughs> the time trial was bad enough. There's a lot of random stories happen time trial. I remember one of the times... I was running it with Ali, and you know, Ali, Ali's not like amazingly athletic either, but he's better than me at <laughs> endurance, and lo uh, a longer distance running. I shouldn't phrase it like endurance, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit questionable, isn't it? But anyway, um, yeah, he would, one of the years he, he like ran with me, in the entire way, we just chatted, that was very nice. I mean, I betrayed him at the end by like sprinting towards the finish, because, you know, when you get to the finish, the, the teachers are like, come on, sprint, sprint, so I was like, alright, you know. I'm gonna sprint, and you know I'm I'm a much faster sprinter than Ali, so I sort of just left him behind. <laughs> it's, it's very cool now. I think I think back to it. If I if I did right now, I would just you know stick with him. I'm like you know you know what? I'd rather just have a nice gentle jog out here. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably get like a an F in um, effort for um P class. Oh, I see that balloon over there. <laughs> Which you know I can't blame him. If I just couldn't be bothered to run, then. So be it. What, why are you in such a weird place, present? Come on. 
Mushroom recipe. Mushroom. Baby's hat. You you are patronizing me. Um, I remember another oh, I trapped myself. Another one of the times, um I was in the same P class as this other guy who he he was like really good at long distance running. Like I think he, he ran for our school or something. And um once he was done, he he was done like crazy, crazy fast. <laughs> like probably sub twelve minutes. Maybe it was like two and a half kilometers. Maybe that was the distance. I I can't remember. Maybe if I ask one of my friends, they might remember. But I don't know. Um, he he was done like insanely fast. So then he took a break, and then once he was done, he sort of like joined and accompanied people, the stragglers at the back, <laughs> for the run, and kept conversation. Going, which at the time I was like, "Don't you patronize me? This is embarrassing." <laughs> um, but now I know I'm thinking back to it, because he was just like, I don't know, the, um, I don't really want to like call him out or anything, but it's not it's not like he was a popular nor non-popular. He just like sometimes a bit performative, shall we say, when it comes to acts like this. But now I think back to it, that was a pretty cool thing for him to do. You know, because I think he gave advice about like breathing and like running or something. I can't can't remember exactly. Maybe he didn't. <laughs> maybe, maybe he just trash talked us the entire time, and I've just <laughs> replaced him with a, a great person in my mind. I think that's kind of cool. You know, when you're supremely good at something, you can go back and encourage people and help them out who are not so good as you, right? So looking back on it, you know, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it was that one. Um, what else happened during the, the time trials? Oh, another one of the times, I remember some of the people in my class were just like, we're not going to run it. So, because what happens is the teacher stands at the finish line, we, we we start by running around our field, and then we go, we have like a park adjacent to our school. You basically go through one of the gates and you go out into a park, run around the park, and you come back through the field, and that's the end. So he stands at the gate, the teacher stands at the gate between the, the park and the field. And I remember... Um, wait, actually, maybe you run around the field twice. The park twice, sorry. I think you I actually think you run around the park twice now, I think about it. Um, yeah, uh, we did that, and then... I just remember, these were the kids, you know. So, sometimes a bit of a troublemakers, a bit of a mischief makers. But um, they were just like, yeah, I'm not going to run it this time. Oh, we need to customise this shovel, otherwise it's going to break. Nearly forgot. So they just like, as soon as they got outside of the teacher, around the first hedge, they just like ducked down and they just didn't run, I guess. <laughs> and then waited for everyone else to run around again and join them on the second lap. So they, they cut out one lap. That's cheating, you're just cheating yourself. But also, they did get to <laughs> skip out on doing one of the worst PE lessons ever, so. I wonder what it's like to be a person who actually likes the long distance running, like the type to like a marathon and not and not be like in <laughs> physical pain, I suppose, when you're doing it. I mean, I'm sure even the best marathon runners are still in pain sort of when we run it, but it's like maybe they're better dealing with it or, you know, the pain comes later because they're more efficient at running, better like oxygen um, exchange or something, <laughs> I don't know. I just like sprinting, you know. Is that a balloon? That is a balloon. I don't know if we can hop over there in time. So I guess we'll wait for it to come over here. Gotta make sure we save a space for it. Yeah, um, what was my point? I don't remember what my point was. Yeah. Because if I had better stamina, I'd like to go on like runs through nature and things, and then it just be like me with my thoughts rather than me thinking like, oh my god, I'm so out of breath. Oh my god, my lungs hurt. I've got a stitch. All my muscles are like, no. Actually, it's not often when I'm sprinting, it's not that like my legs are giving way under me. It's more that um, my lungs are just out of breath. I'm just like, <laughs> I can't get any breaths in. <laughs> and every breath is sharp and painful. And what's worse is every time we did the time trial, it was always like winter. So then the air is really cold and sharp. Nippy. A pet bed. 
I don't know what you're trying to insinuate here game, but I'm not having it. Um, yeah, so it's always really cold. And sometimes it was extraordinarily muddy. It's just a terrible experience all around. But it's always flowers. <laughs> I think, do I have anything else interesting to say to you in the time trial? I don't really have much to say. I mean, if anything, we, we just sort of ran. Put these flowers away for a rainy day. Well, I guess we're not really putting them away, we're just selling them, but. Um, I think one of the times my friends, like, not, not my friends, one of my friends fell into, like, a ditch or something. He had to stop running. Had to go to a school nurse or something. I remember that. Of course, I didn't see it happen. Sorry about that, meaning pause. Yeah, obviously I didn't see it happen because he was actually, like, an average to above average long distance runner, so he was way ahead of me. <laughs> um, I guess we can get rid of his bench. We don't really need it here anymore. I'm trying to think. Because we've only got like three minutes left, and that's not really enough time to start a, another um, sort of thing. Do I have any more cross-country stories? I don't know. If you like cross-country, you have my respect. It's, it's not my thing. It's terrible. <laughs> I hate, hate it. hate being out of breath, I suppose. Which is not surprising because, you know, kind of like breathing, oxygen, all that good stuff. I wonder what we should do with this fountain because it's quite pretty in front of um, a museum like this. Um. Yeah. I don't know. We didn't have a cross-country event at Sports Day, from what I can remember. Have I ever talked about Sports Day on video before? I'm not sure if I have. That's another topic for another time, apparently. At some point, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the same conversational topic in two of the videos, and that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> well, it's not really gonna be a problem. It's gonna be weird, isn't it? I'll be repeating myself and be like, "Oh no, what's the point of watching this video?" Dear darling, she's just repeating herself. <laughs> Obviously. I only come to these Animal Crossing videos not to relax or vibe out or anything. For these new anecdotal conversations, which Dear Darling somehow pulls out of nowhere every single time. Sometimes. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Cross country. It's just. It's like. I feel like conceptually. I don't have anything against running. It's just a fact. But as soon as I start doing it, I mean, I'm super out of breath. I'm just like, nope, I'm out. I don't like being out of breath. <laughs> It's so painful. Why does it hurt so much? And it's not its not like it hurts in a good way. Well, maybe it does hurt in a good way for you. I'd imagine if you like long distance running, you'd be like, oh, the pain is sort of just like fuels my fire even more and I keep it going. It's not, the muscle pain doesn't bother me. Because like 400 meters doesn't bother me when we ran it. Because if you don't know, 400 meters is basically a sprint. But like the longest sprint of your life. About like, the lactic acid is very painful in your muscles. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me when I run it is like I'm out of breath. But like 300 meters, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I can't do this. I'm gonna die. <clears throat> That's alright. I got I got good twitch muscles or what? You know, isn't it like muscles? There's like muscles that are good at short distance, muscles that are good at long distance or something based off. I d I don't know. I didn't do biology, I didn't do PE. So, who knows, really? How things could have gone. Imagine what it would be like if I was born a long distance runner than a sprinter. Probably not really much has changed, but maybe I'd go on more occasional jogs <laughs> to remain active. I can see that happening. Anyway, should we round this episode up here? Our character herself, just amazing 
cross country runner. Like the rest, never out of breath she is. Anyway, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Uh, any likes, comments, and subscriptions all greatly appreciated. Join me Dear Darling Discord down in the description below. Uh, and follow me on Twitter. I hope we can see each other again, but for now it's all farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>